Ciao, this is Mark Marcantonio. Now I'm going to go ahead and update the 3D structure scan to the latest software version, which is 22.1. And to do that, first thing that I want to do is go to my, make sure that my structure scan box is turned on. And I've got mine mounted in my rod locker. And as you can see, the 3D structure scan box is on top of my, above my active target box. And the LEDs are all flashing. So the soft, the power is turned on to that box. So you want to make sure you've got that done first. Now we'll go ahead and show you the steps of installing that. Uh, I've already taken the software and off of the website and I've downloaded it onto this SD card, micro SD card. So I've got software version 20.1 for 3D structure scan. It's you have to download the software for each box that you're going to update. There are separate software updates, even though they have the same number. And so I'm going to go ahead and put the micro SD card in my bottom slot. And the next thing we do is we press the pages button and we go down to the storage icon, the file folder on the left side menu. We touch it and we go to where the slot that I put the card in, which was the, the bottom slot. So we'll hit memory card bottom. We'll scroll through all my files that I have on that memory card. And you'll see I've got the structure scan 3D 22.1 software on this uh, card right at that location and if you notice the ending file ending on this file is .riw anytime you see a .riw file that is a file that must be manually loaded so you don't do an automatic update by putting it in and then turning the unit on that will not update a riw file it will not update an swup file which is my uh, software update for my ghost trolling motor and i've got my active target update on here which is a dot riw file also all of those have to be manually installed only the hds live or carbon or elite fs updates for the unit itself, for the MFD, those are automatic updates and they end in .upd. Okay, so let's do the structure scan one. I'll press the that and once you highlight it, you get another menu and it asks if you want to upgrade it and or copy, rename, or delete. I'm going to upgrade my structure scan box. Remember, the structure scan box is turned on. You have to make sure of that before you start. Hit upgrade and so now I've got the structure scan 3D on here. Right now I've got software version 20.3. We're going to upgrade that. So I highlight it and then you get a, a check mark in this box. And you have to make sure you have that check mark in there and that it's highlighted. And then you press start upgrade. So we're going to press start upgrade and you see now it's transferring the data from the card into the MFD. It shows you the progress over here. Now wait. Even though it says it's 100%, it has to go through another process of synchronizing it and then rebooting it. And then it'll say upgrade complete. So we hit upgrade complete. And that's how you update your 3D structure scan module. So that's pretty much all there is to it. And now that new software is is in the uh, structure scan 3d box and ready to go this is mark mark antonio ciao